everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and with another Marvel's Avengers video today with you for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy them. Now, going into this video, we'll be going over the new patch notes that have come out uh, along with the Omega Level Threats update that has just dropped uh, for Marvel's Avengers. I'll be going through the patch notes and let me know in the comment section below how you guys are finding the update. Are you guys enjoying the Omega Level Threats? I know some people have, uh, you know, pointed their own opinion about them. Um, I'll probably do a you know a, uh, an update review um, in the next couple of days so you guys can give my thoughts and opinions about it um, once I go through the multiplayer mega hives and all that cool jazz as well. Um, I know people were really excited for, um, about the multiple heroes, playing out to play multiples of the same hero um, in the same strike team. I, I know that's uh, really sought after, so it's good to see that finally in the game permanently now. Um, so yeah. We'll get straight into the video guys, hope you guys enjoy it, uh, hope you guys, if you guys do make sure to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already, but now let's get straight into it. So getting into the patch notes, Marvel's Avengers version 1.8.2 patch notes, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go check it out for yourselves. I will briefly skim through everything because uh, it's not uh, there's not too much in this one, so I will briefly skim over everything. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. So start, it starts with um, new features, so obviously the Mega Level Threat Family Reunion. Now there was a problem with, um, of course we were supposed to get exotic gear, from the um, from the Omega Level Threat, uh, it wasn't granting the exotic rewards, um, and they were investigating. But it has now uh, been fixed, so the exotic rewards mission chain should now be available for use in the Omega Level Threat. So that is exactly what I'll be doing in tonight's stream. So make sure to come and uh, join in, guys, because it's going to be a lot of fun. I uh, cannot wait for it. And. And it does say that though players can run them as many times as, as they like, Omega Level Threats award the highest end gear for success once per week per account. So just like the uh, just like the original, the old Mega Hives. Next up, we have the multiplayer Mega Hives. So Mega Hives now allow a multiplayer in uh, sorry multiplayer in addition to single player. The exotic reward will now only be in Hive Mind gear. Uh, completing the mission chain each week will grant you two Hive Mind pieces. One focus on melee and ranged, and the other focus on de defense slash heroics. Players who fail and have no heroes of them can uh, spectate the remaining players in the strive team. So that's that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, permanent temporal assault. So due to the further tampering by AIM, the ability to play multiples of the same hero in the matchmaking and in strive teams is now permanent. We can't wait to see how you've taken on a mega level threat family reunion in the multiplayer mega hives with new hero combinations now available. Thank you for the feedback. Again, like I said, I know a lot of people have been really wanting this as well. And something that I haven't mentioned in the in the recent videos was the priority mission changes. So we are removing the low level priority mission and raising the power level of the high level 1 to 140. The challenge rating for the priority mission cannot be changed. Completing the priority mission will grant players a guaranteed exotic on a weekly basis. So of course we used, used to get two priority missions per week. Um, and one was level 25 and one was power, uh, level power 120 or 125 I believe. But now... We are just getting one is power 140. I think I did mention in a, a in a video a couple of the, uh, days back um, about you know it's not you know priority missions you could at least play the little the the little one the, not the little one but the low power level um, if you're new to the game. But now you have to wait until level 140 to even go for it because of course uh, to get those exotics. So I'm not too sure how I feel about that, but um, it it's definitely going to be a, a easier way. We also have some new bundles coming to the marketplace on July 29th, so with the weekly reset. So we have the Door Buster deal, so Black Widow's Outrider outfit, Captain America's Rebirth outfit, Hawkeye's Old Man outfit, Hulk's Wrestler outfit, Iron Man's Retro outfit, Miss Marvel's Karachi outfit, Kate's Dimension Shift outfit, and Thor's Young Thor outfit will all be in a set, will all be in a deal, um, so you can get, you know, probably cheap, I would say. And I'm, I'm, the I, I am Iron Man bottle, that's a, that's a tongue twister. Iron Man's Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame outfit, don't get too close takedown. Jarvis and Mo and the 007 nameplate, or 007 nameplate, um, will be in a deal as well. So, you know, it, it's gonna be interesting. Of course, you know, it was a, it, you know, it was a couple uh, weeks back now that the Iron Man uh, outfit came out, and you know, there was 1400 credits. I don't know how much this bundle is going to be. I don't think it's been told. Oh, it hasn't been leaked out yet, or hasn't. No one knows yet. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, if you haven't got the, you know, the the Avengers Endgame outfit yet, this might be a good time to get it. So let's get into the patch notes themselves. So we have the reasonable campaign and Avengers initiative. So to tame a, a Titan Elite is now visible on the war table when the reigning supreme mission chain requires it to move forward. 
Now the lives counter in Mega Hives has been removed. It has been replaced by the ability to use all your heroes who are at the appropriate, uh, the, at the appropriate level. In Abomination Taskmaster Villain Sectors, the Adept Adaptoid no longer spawns in the ceiling, which previously made it difficult to reach. Um, that, def that happened to me a couple of times. It's nice that it's fixed. Uh, enemies now spawning correctly in Last Avenger Standing in Forest Hives. I know a lot of people had a cr uh, ro um, tr tr uh, troubles with that with the Last Avenger Standing mission. So that should now be fixed for all you guys uh, trying to uh, spam and, uh, you know, trying to grind that, uh, that mission. In being the odds, localized voiceover no longer plays at the same time as an English voiceover. Fix an issue in Mega Hives where a defeated hero would remain defeated and unusable even after starting the Mega Hive from the beginning. That has happened to quite a lot of people. Uh, it's nice to see that's fixed. After a hero is defeated in Mega Hives, the menu to choose another hero no longer abrupt, abrupt appears. No longer abruptly appears, I should say. There is a short pause between. Oh, thank God they've done that. I can't, can't, cannot, cannot stand those uh, those uh, abruptly uh, screens appearing. It's ridiculous. It's nice that they fix that. Of course, I am joking. Uh, the multiplayer and max matchmaking fixes. So in being the odds during multiplayer, the audio no longer drops during the cinematic that takes place right after defeating Monica. Uh, art and animation, Captain America, Marvel Studios, Avengers Endgame outfit, Shield now is or orientated correctly on his back. To the, so the star faces upwards. I guess that's more canon. I don't know. Uh, Roy no longer appears in the customizable harm room. Don't worry, he doesn't have feelings. I'm going to say uh, hashtag, uh, you know, uh, Roy feelings or I don't know. Hashtag justice for Roy. There you go. Hashtag justice for Roy. Put it in the chat if you guys are up, up uh, watching the video up as well. Uh, when Hulk performs the This Is Child's Play takedown, the enemy now flies in the correct direction. Hulk does not have a tail of kinesis after all. Uh, user interface, so the UI. So after opening and closing the operations menu with a controller, players can now reopen the menu with a mouse. Fair enough. Uh, gear challenges and rewards. Certain epic hero gear set gear items no longer drop with stats as if it was power level 1. Never seen that before, but uh, there you go, that is fixed. And known issues, so potential minus balls for the new villain sector being the odds below. So in the mega high placeholder code correctly appears on the screen in hero selection menu after hero is down. The My Life as a Weapon mission incorrectly shows two pieces of shield gear as a reward instead of one piece. Um, and yeah, that is, uh, that, that, that's the patch guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So that is the patch notes guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, you know, not, not too much has changed honestly, not too many bugs and fixes. Like, there's a few there that, that were nice, but um, there's definitely a long way to go. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys feel of this in the comment section below. I'm gonna get out of here. I'd like to give a big shout out to all the channel members. You guys are awesome as always. I can't say it more than, more than enough. Um, you guys are awesome. If you guys like to join the members, uh, there is a link in the description below. So you guys can join the Jedi Council right there. Um, but I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy gaming.